Um, what about for the women's division? I know working with the women is a big thing for you, working with Shida, working with Riho. Yep. Why is that sort of the thing that you want to sink your teeth into? What do you see for the future of the women's division in AEW and sort of the prospects of that? Yeah, so it always, even, even, I remember even when I was young, like younger, I don't mean like young, young, like, um, you know, single digits young, but when I was a teen, I had felt like, hey, this is odd. Like Trish, like I'm talking Trish Stratus, yeah. you know, she's so good. And why does she have such a limited amount of people to work with? I know that they're out there somewhere. I wanted, I wanted to see kind of epic clashes on American TV, the way that I was able to see them in Japan. Because when I was able to see Manami Toyota and Aja Kong, you know, it, it it's it's by seeing the Joshi and by seeing the passion that they exude in that ring, by seeing just how 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 technically sound they were and how they brought this extra something that you just didn't see from you know the male counterparts. It was really something unique, really something original. And you know, that's just sort of like flavors of ice cream, flavors of life. Um you will it's like you know asking asking to like hey in, in a in a team of basketball for example like i mean um you, you have your point guard but you can't have a team of five point guards you know yeah. what i mean you're gonna want yeah you, you're you're going to need the the proper player to fill the proper positions to have a full team and a team that works and i truly do believe that in today's world especially that we as fans in America are are ready to have shows where there's equal representation for the women as well as the men. Um, and not only that, but we have athletes that are just as dedicated and or and or more so than the males to become stars. Yeah. And there's a big chip on those shoulders. And there's something really important about having that chip on your shoulder and overcoming right. that. And and I think there's a there was been a little bit of complacency from from the males as well, where it's like, sure. Yeah, we know we're going to be the focus of this show. Like, yeah. you need to really earn my spot to get on this show. And it's like, no, you guys got to be careful because they're coming for you. Yeah. And not only that, yeah. but they actually, they deserve your spot. Like, yeah. I've seen it firsthand. And now, like, we would have some incredible displays of professional wrestling in, like, year one, year two, year three. Um, but now I feel... Um, that we have earned that trust what's like and and i i don't mean with our fans i'm sure with our fans too and with fans that maybe casually tune into our product but you know there are there are people we have to convince on the business end of things as well that this right. is a proven thing and that this can be successful and that people want to watch it yeah now that we've proven that yes people like it people will watch it and it is good we are starting to get some incredible performances from our female champions. Oh my God. Um, and they, they look like absolute superstars and I couldn't be happier for everyone that has stuck with us since the beginning. Um, whether it be an, an athlete, you know, from the women's division or whether it be a fan that just saw more for it and has waited all this time and is, you know, and is still waiting to see just how far, this women's division can go and how far they can take it and which i think is still we haven't i still think we even haven't reached that potential we can still Agreed. keep going we can still keep pushing it i think as you start to see what some of these matches look like different opponent situations mm -hmm. you know looking at different slots on the card whether you're looking at the pay-per-view looking at tv time and being able to have those great storylines to really propel things forward giving the women that time because honestly you give them that time they're going to show up and put in 110 percent every single time nobody is ever mailing it in in those right. situations so i think just being able to give the women more of that time to really execute they deliver every single time um and the roster just keeps getting stronger and stronger and the girls that have been there from the beginning you see them putting in the work people getting in the ring whether they're getting in the ring with you or brian or you know dustin they definitely have plenty of brains to pick from uh in terms of putting together their matches and uh, character stuff and whatnot, but yeah, I can't say enough good things about what our women's and, division really holds. And one thing that I respect more than anything, which is uh, you know uh, kind of part of the process that um, the normal person may not be too keen to, is that when we show up to an arena, for an example, and we don't know what the card is, we may know that we'll be performing, we may know that we might be needed, but 
um, for the women to show up and go like, oh, by the way, for the first time in forever, you guys are going to be the main event. Yeah. And it's kind of like, whoa, like I'm going to be the main. And it's like, yep, do or die. Yeah. You know I mean, this is your big chance. You screw this up. That's it. It sets the <laughs> whole division back because we can't trust you to be the main event anymore. <sighs> That's so much pressure. That is it's so a lot. much pressure. It's a lot. And that is a real pressure, I think. Um, yeah. I mean, I think for any woman in any position like that to be like really the one to kind of bear that torch it's, it really is a lot to make sure, like, let's make mm -hmm. sure everyone's on board. We all know what we're doing. Um, cause that is a very real pressure and I, the fan bases can be great, but they can also be, um, a little unforgiving with some, what some of the, Oh, absolutely. Well. Yes. It's, it's, it's always very difficult too to introduce something completely new. Yeah. And I mean, I think this goes back. I'm, this goes back. I would assume to almost every form of art that you can imagine, whether it be, you know, in the way that people painted their pictures and the way people composed their music in the way that film was shot mm -hmm. uh, scripts, everything. Um, imagine the reaction um, from people going from people watching Charlie Chaplin to then suddenly watching, um, you know, a, a, a horror movie. It's, it's sure, going to be jarring. Sure. It'll be jarring. Yeah. yeah. You know, people people that are used to listening to classical music, and then suddenly, oh, check out this R and B album. <laughs> it, it might it might it might yeah. take you aback for a second. You know what I mean? Yep. Maybe you maybe you'll like it immediately, and maybe that will be an acquired taste because you know, good music is good music, bad music is bad music. Yeah, it's not defined. Good isn't defined by a genre. Yeah. Um, good is just good. That's it. So, yeah. it's uh. Again, there's always going to be a little bit of pushback, like, whoa, I'm not familiar with this. I don't know if I'm ready to accept this, mm -hmm. but this is a world where we must be accepting now. You know, I, we must I be. think you can really use the, the Ruby Willow situation as a prime example for that. I mean, I was shocked by the, the the reaction that people had to women bleeding to the degree that ruby was and people were like up right. in arms about that that was, like, that was oh a lot God. yeah <laughs> it was a lot but like we've seen it before we've seen we have, it on no, the men a ton so yeah it was just very funny to see the reaction of like okay like i listen i know john can get shit for bleeding a ton brian's blood a ton we've seen it wait well whoa, whoa, john's blood before <laughs> What? Huh? <laughs> just on occasion just from time to oh, time okay. it's the thing yeah. that happens the the and bloody it, the bloody Sunday. pillowcases that we've left in hotel rooms good lord mm -hmm. um but yeah it's just very funny to see the reaction that the women get as opposed to the men but it's it's all just a work in progress we just push forward and keep giving them great matches with great talent and people that are prepared to rise to the occasion every right and exactly like i mean again it's just it's just it's the lack of familiarity with it that's jarring it's yeah. like you see Ruby bleed in the way that Dustin bled just yes. the other day. Oh my and god! It's like, yes, and it's like, whoa, we, I don't, I don't like this. This is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine that was probably, you know, that's the, the a reaction of that is it could be as similar as someone shaving their head for the first time. Sure, sure, like, sure. You know, if I if I walked into a room and shaved my head, there's going to be people that go, whoa, well, I don't like this. Well, you can't mess with the curls, by the way. So I was trying to come up with a different situation. The, the curls okay, let's come up. Yeah, um, it's, uh, if I it, shaved it, my head, my hair is sort of There weird. you go. It's just hair. It would be yeah. jarring. I could not yeah, pull see, off that. Yeah. And you might, you might have people that see you for, on TV for the first time and go, what is this they might type right away on on social media you know what i mean this is ridiculous i'm so mad right now yeah you're a goofball you know or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that's just that's how things are sometimes but it can also be a learning process and those same people that had that knee-jerk reaction in the beginning that was possibly in a negative place they might change sure and sure yes yeah. Yeah, it's very true. You're right. It's like, I think even for like for the women or if it's a different match, it even just have to be the women for anybody that kind of has that of pushing against the grain, doing something a little bit different is like either you can go back and kind of keep doing the same thing and people will adjust to it. Or you kind of like heed to what some of the feedback is and kind of meet in the middle a little bit, but it's, it's just moving things forward. And um, I think our women's division just does an awesome job and it's, mm -hmm. in, it's in good hands. That's for damn sure. I, I hope so. No, it definitely yeah. seems to be moving in a, in a great position. And I think we have, 
such a wide array of talents. I mean, I, I know people, especially when they talk to me, they like to talk a lot about the Joshi, but I, I don't at any point want to discredit any of our other roster members that maybe came from um, a different discipline in professional yeah. wrestling. Because, you know, the, our, our women that have studied in, in America or the UK um, or, you know, heck, even, you know, the Performance Center or whatever, yeah, you know, sure. they've, yeah. they've all put the work in and they continuously put the work in and they're thinking about their characters, they're thinking about their image, um, coming up with new costume ideas, new hair ideas, new way to present themselves. Uh, I would say more, in a lot of cases, a lot more thought has to be put into their presentation than what we do 